Right guys, Gaft is back with one of his all-time favourite card effects. I showed this to a couple of guys at work today. Needless to say, this always gets a stunning, stunning reaction. Some of you guys know this trick, but there'll be a few that don't. And I will quickly show you at the end how to do it. So to start with, I'm just going to remove the two jokers because we don't want the two jokers in the pack. We'll put these in the box. Put that in my pocket, get rid of that. You've got a completely free choice to pick any card. So let's say you have this one. In this case, it is the Seven of Clubs. Now in the real world, I'd get the spectator to sign this card because this trick is that powerful. They need to know it is the same card. And we're gonna leave it somewhere in the middle. I'm gonna do a magical gesture like this. Did you see that? Believe it or not, your card jumped out of the deck it did 13 and a half rotations and it's landed in my pocket. I know that is hard to believe, but I'm gonna reach into my pocket and I'm gonna pull out, oh, where's the box? No, wrong pocket. Oh, there we go. One card, this can't be your signed King of Spades, can it? It wasn't the King of Spades, it wasn't the King of Spades. But what I didn't say was my magic is so strong. When that card jumped out of the deck, it did 13 and a half somersaults, went into my pocket and into the box. Because you saw at the beginning, I put the two jokers in the box. But if you look now, there are now three cards in the box. We've got a joker on the top. We've got a joker on the bottom. And in between the two jokers inside the box is, believe it or not, your signed seven of clubs so that is a trick guys that gets a fantastic reaction and this is their signed card right it does require a couple of things you're going to need two jokers and i've coated the face of this one and the face of this one with roughing balm so i can take out two jokers from the deck they can see two jokers. I'm going to put these like this and I'm going to put these into the box. You are also going to have another joker. This is a magnetic joker. It's got magnets in it so it will attract to the bottom of the box. So you're going to start out with your two roughing balm jokers on the deck with your joker on the top. Right, I'm just going to show you a card trick, but I just want to get rid of the two jokers. So you're going to take the two jokers off, show them the two jokers, making sure you put the rough against the rough, and then put these in the box and get rid of them. Put the box in your pocket, but remembering the orientation of the box. What I should have said was, before you do anything and you go up to your spectator, take any random card and shove it in your pocket. We'll leave it there. We'll call that my pocket and we'll call that my pocket. Spectator has now got a free choice of any card. They can't pick the top card because it's a gaff joker, but they could pick this card, the nine of diamonds. While they're looking at this nine of diamonds and signing it, I'm gonna get a pinky pull down on the bottom card, swing cut the top portion. They're gonna place their card here. Now it's that sort of trick that it doesn't matter if I can see the card because you've signed it. That gives you the excuse to then tip it over and deposit this indifferent card. So you've signed the nine of diamonds and we're gonna place it in the middle. Now to the spectator, you have just placed their card in the middle, but in fact, that is the indifferent card. Their card is now on top of your joker. Push everything in, do any sort of magical gesture you want, any patter, but believe it or not, your card has jumped out of the deck and it's now in my pocket. Bit of mud on there. I know it's hard to believe, but what you're gonna do is reach into your pocket, pull out the box, drop it on the top, and then say, oh, hang on, there's the box. Reach back into that same pocket, say, hang on a minute, wrong pocket. Pick up the box, place it down, then reach into your other pocket and pull out this card. This is complete misdirection. Takes any sort of heat off this. It's a bit of time misdirection for the box. And show them the King of Spades. It wasn't the King of Spades, was it? Damn it. But my magic is so strong. What's happened is now, the Joker has stolen their card. It's on the bottom of the box. It's invisible to them. All you're gonna do now is pick up the box to the spectator, rotate it this way, open up the flap. And when you open up the flap, you're gonna pinch those two cards in the box and 
where you've got this cutter of the box, you're going to pinch there and pull everything out. To the spectator, you've just pulled out those two jokers, but now there are three cards. This will be your two jokers, which you'll stick together with the roughing balm. So you can spread and show you've got three cards. You've got a joker on the top. This is your double. Joker on the bottom, your magnetic one. And in between the two jokers in the box is your signed nine of diamonds. So that is a great trick, guys. I love doing this. I've done this a lot. It's super easy. There's only one move you've got to learn. The rest is pretty much self-working. And the only move is just getting a pinky pull down on this card so that when they deposit theirs, you can seemingly turn their card over, drop this one. They think this is their card now. Push it out, push it on top of this one and close everything up. Why you do that is because you've got this magnetic joker on the top. You want their card, let's say it is the Nine of Diamonds. The magnetic joker is here. You want it to stay on the top. So the Nine, deposit that indifferent card, push the indifferent card off, put this on the top, and now the Nine and the joker are back on top of the deck. The steel is invisible. Um, you're gonna take this out of your pocket you're going to take it out, put it on top, reach back into your pocket as if, oh, wrong pocket. Move this away. It's now all stuck on the bottom. Go into your other pocket and away you go. So that's it, guys. It's just a magnetic joker and two jokers with roughing bar. So comment, subscribe, like, guys. And um, I love this trick. It's super easy. Um, give it a go and let me know. Cheers.